Hi again, and welcome back to another episode of me drawing random ingredients. Um, but today I'm going to be attempting to draw a couple of lemons. And I realised after recording this episode, when you paint or digitally paint, um, try not to use lines. So do as I say, not as I do, but you're supposed to be focusing on your shapes and the value you give them. So line art is a decent guide, I suppose, but I think you lose out a lot of practice when you do that. But what I've just been doing is, for this part, grabbing a bunch of different fruit and veg, um, drawing out basic outlines of shapes, going over with a blanket colour, uh, in this case yellow, and then just layering different things on top. And when it doesn't look right, I panic and I just kind of like scribble on the page. It's a really bad habit, but that's what I've been doing so far. And I essentially need to break that habit. Obviously, you'll see by the end of this, but this is still going to be like a before and after series. And this is obviously my before, so I'm really excited to go back to this in a couple of months' time and show how much I've improved. But one thing I would really like to work on is the ability to create different textures. Um, in this video, you'll see me bounce around a lot of different colours, trying to get the perfect colour for the lemon rind, because essentially... What I see in my reference picture, I can't accurately translate that into my brain onto the picture. So I'm going at it with this kind of like muggy greenish yellow right now. And that wasn't working, so I attempted a bit more of an orange. And the biggest thing I need to work on is finding out the information that's important, translating it to the colour wheel and what I'm actually looking at and putting that into my piece. Um, obviously finding out a brush I'm comfortable with will help a lot but this is my biggest weakness at the moment and if anyone has any advice please let me know because I feel like it would help a lot otherwise it's all going to look pretty sketchy and none of my picture pictures will really look refined and clean. They'll look quite dirty and kind of rough so I'm trying to get away from that again doing this is just going to make my lemons look radioactive especially at that um, so I think the biggest thing I need to learn is color theory and then probably texture and after that proportions I suppose for when I start to draw people and I have to apologize that this is sped up again but I'm probably not going to have enough content to talk longer than 10 minutes, so bear with me. Um, I suppose what I could do moving forward is creating my own brushes. I've heard that's a thing. I've not tried it myself yet, but I could use that to gain a lot of texture um, because these lemons still look radioactive. And the reason why I'm drawing a lemon is because by the end of this little ingredient series of videos I'm going to be putting it together into my favorite pizza toppings and the lemon is a hint. Um, one bit I was somewhat proud of is how the inside of the lemon sent out probably not the right technique but it could have been a lot worse I think and I've basically just decided to go a white layer and then kind of layer the lemon flesh on the inside. And then I'm essentially just scribbling lines into the center of the lemon uh, to show those individual segments. And I'm doing that with white and I'm going to try and layer that on with a couple of different colors on top of that. Um, one thing obviously... 
I'm going to have to start to learn to do is also editing. Um, if anyone knows any decent software for that, please let me know. Um, and clearly, I need to do better at commentary. Maybe I should actually start writing scripts so I can plan what I'm talking about because every single video I've made so far has just been me rambling like I'm doing now. And I don't think that really retains a lot of your attention. But this is the part where I start to panic and I just grab a couple of different brushes and colors and just start scribbling on the page. But I was somewhat happy how this worked out. What I wasn't happy with is essentially shading. Everything is just one color right now. And I don't really know how to get around that. Granted, I could be putting a lot more time and energy into all of my pieces. But honestly, after a day of work, I just get tired. But that doesn't stop me wanting to try this. It's just something that I'm going to have to adapt to. And maybe draw something over a couple of days rather than just drawing something while I watch something on TV. But I think that's a barrier we have to get through in terms of commitment. And that's something I've particularly struggled with in the past. Committing to things and sacrificing my time doing one thing. And I guess part of it is my fault because I feel like to get more viewership I have to push out videos every couple of days I don't know how the algorithm works um, and no matter how many times I try and figure out there's always a different message or I'm new I'm sure I'll get used to it everyone else seems to know so it's only a matter of time maybe I just need to get a decent following and I don't know how I'm going to get that. But hopefully if only one of you is watching, that's enough. I just want to entertain, I suppose, no matter what that takes. But followers can only arrive over time. I can't rush this. And talking about rushing it, I'm just grabbing a massive brush and forcing a bit of texture because I was so desperate to get some. And one thing that is quite limiting to me in terms of creating videos is I kind of need an empty house to record my voice because I get so embarrassed and shy whenever I try to record myself. One, because I'm not confident in how I sound, and two, it just feels a bit silly. And granted, that's going to have to change if I ever want to start live streaming my art or if I ever want to play video games, but I've always troubled, had trouble with public speaking, so I hope that you're able to bear with me. And it's slowly coming together. At least you can tell that there's supposed to be lemons. That's a big step. Um, typically, uh, people couldn't even recognize my drawings, so I'm hoping that everything I've drawn so far is recognizable at least. But I think this video is wrapping up. So thank you everyone for watching. Let me know if you like my intro and outro, I guess. Again, very new at this. But I really did enjoy drawing these lemons and I hope that you are able to pick up something and you should try drawing them yourself or any piece of food around your house. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching. And have a great day. Bye.